I love Airstreams. Every time I see one, I feel like a kid in a candy store. There's just something about that iconic, but somehow futuristic, all metal design that pulls you in. But there is one giant thing I hate about Airstreams to keep it real. And that's the price. They just aren't overpriced, but they are holy bad crazy overpriced when compared to the competition. So why the hell do people buy these monstrosities? And is it even worth the price? Well, stick around and I'll tell you what's really going on here, and I'll tell you whether Airstreams are worth buying or not. Let's get into it. Okay, so boom. Airstream is well aware of what they are doing in terms of pricing. They are purposely positioning themselves as a higher end product, almost luxury compared to the competition. But does price actually equal a better product? Well, let's first see why Airstreams cost so damn much in the first place. Airstreams are built by craftsmen with minimal to no machine labor. So just like a luxury car, they are built by actual human beings piece by piece rather than an assembly line of robots. How long does putting one of these things take? About 350 hours go into making an Airstream. That's 14 and a half days of constant work around the clock compared to just 50 hours for the average RV. So yeah, they got the competition beat there. But do these things even last? Airstream reports that 75% of Airstreams since 1931 are still in use today. Although most of the older models that are still in use today have been heavily modified to keep up with modern technology or reworked for hashtag van life. The reason Airstreams last so much longer is because the metal shell of an Airstream is the structure. See, the metal shell you see on the outside is exactly what's giving it strength, as opposed to other RVs where what you see on the outside is attached to what is really holding it all together. Airstreams are meant to be owned and then passed down. They can last much more than just one generation. There is a 50 year or more lifespan on an Airstream as opposed to the average 10 or 15 year lifespan on a traditional RV. Airstreams, unlike cars and iPhones, they don't have really big changes or redesigns. So an older model looks crazy similar to a newer model that you would see today, even though the interiors may be different. So this is why the price of an older Airstream that's been around for years actually is still more expensive than some of the RVs that you can get that are on the market today. Airstream is only looking to manufacture the best products that will stand the test of time. So they are not looking to cut costs, but rather they focus on using the best materials they can find to make the best product that you can find. So are Airstreams overpriced? Absolutely. But in this case, the overpriced product is also absolutely worth it. So if you have the chance to pick one up, you should. Good luck though, because they are hard as hell to buy and the market is red hot. There's no other structure like them that is so striking that feels comfortable being in a rural setting and out in the woods as it does being in the middle of a city. It's truly special. But to be honest, I know the real goal of a lot of people nowadays is to buy an Airstream and get it up and running on Airbnb. You can seriously make a ton of dough. So check out these videos on the screen now for tips on how to buy land and the legalities of all of that type of stuff.